MCU news of the week. So one of the first things that I think is just incredible, uh, Mr. Ryan Coogler. Three films in, uh, he's like becoming one of those directors. There's three movies in, I have to see whatever Ryan Coogler does. Um, I think he's so fantastic. And this news here, he's going to be working on a Wakanda series with Disney and with Kevin Feige, but also developing some other shows, whether that be spinoffs, other shows within MCU. Amanda, I want to kick it off with you first. Your thoughts on Ryan Coogler being locked into a five-year deal, giving us some great content, and then kind of your thoughts on what we can expect from a Wakanda series. Um, I absolutely love him. Everything Coogler does, it turns into pure gold. Um, I love that he's getting this opportunity. I would love to see more of Wakanda. Uh, as we, we said before, there's so much that you can explore. Um, but yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. I love, I love his stuff. And, uh, if he it's a five year exclusive television deal, which is like yeah. so much that could happen that could tie into each other, things that he even wants to add on. Like there's so much like creative freedom that they're giving him. And if he runs with it, oh man, we're in for like a real treat. So yeah, oh, I did him. Did you have any any thoughts or theories of what uh, so again we know it's a what kind of series, but what would you like to see them explore the what kind of series? And if there are any other characters you would like them to focus on as well? Um, maybe more like leaning towards Shuri, I think. I think that'd yeah. be really nice to just explore her and um everything that she's doing while uh well everything that happened in it. She came back in Endgame, I think, too, right? She was there. I'm not losing. Yeah, she came out of the portal. Yeah, yeah, she had her yeah. little gauntlets shooting in the yeah, like, yeah. yeah, she was. And uh I haven't watched it in a while, as you can see. Um, but anything like post endgame and how she's handling it, maybe I thought that would be really cool to just see her because she's an excellent character. I think yeah. that if she's central focus, it'd be really nice. I couldn't agree with you more. And I think we talked about a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about Ryan Co or not Ryan Cougar, but Killmugger coming back to the mix. Who's going to be on the throne? Is it too quick to give Shuri the mantle of Black Panther? A TV show would be a great way to explore her becoming the queen of Wakanda uh, yeah. if that's the route they want to go. But Chris, yeah. man, tossing it to you. Just number one, are you a fan of Ryan Coogler? And if so, are you excited for this news? And then what, what do we think we can expect from a Wakanda series, man? Yeah, I'm obviously a huge fan. I think was was Fruitvale his first or mm -hmm. yep. yeah I, I remember I remember seeing it in the theaters it was like a big big moment like you know that was a, a great movie for me to get introduced yeah. to him yeah I, I'm a big fan and then beyond that like I'll be brief beyond that it's just good for like the culture because like he's gonna put you know black actors black you know like even like you know just the staff all that it's like it just gives so much more opportunity for for black people in Hollywood to get to get a shot so you're not waiting around, you know, it's like you're not waiting for just Black Panther 2, Black Panther 3. It's like, oh, we have now we have a series. I, I just give more opportunity. So it's just good to see that. As far as the show, Amanda stole my answer. We're back to being 100% aligned until next week. Um, I, I, I I stand for Shuri. I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm a big brother. I have a little sister. I, I I see that kind of that bond relationship. She makes fun of me, that kind of stuff. So I, I would love to see uh, more Shuri. And, and, and it helps. And it helps, you know, kind of explain why she could take on, take on the mantle. Just like WandaVision. Wanda has a whole show. Now people are like, you can't like you can't miss it like now you get she yeah. gets the respect that she deserves so i want to see that with sherry as well so yeah it's a great point, man. Uh, and I think a, a show, if I were to be a betting man, I think that Black Panther 2 won't really deal with who's on the throne. It's just a matter of we have to protect Wakanda. I think that's where Dr. Doom and Namor might come into the mix. And then we can handle who's going to be on the throne after we protect Wakanda. And, you know, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. But Ankit, man, Ryan Coogler, are you a fan of his work? And just your thoughts on this announcement. Uh, and, and what would you like to personally see maybe them explore of the Wakanda TV show? Yeah, absolutely. So I am a fan of Ryan Coogler. I unfortunately haven't seen Fruit Mill Station, partly because I know it's going to break my heart. I'm like too scared yeah. to watch it. Um, yeah. But I'm absolutely blown away by how like young Ryan Coogler is. And he's just like headed up these like amazing franchises, like what he did for Creed and what he's doing for Black Panther. Like that's what I'm really impressed about. So I'm really excited to see what he does next. Um, I, I really want to see them explore just Wakanda as a whole. Yeah. Like the MCU has introduced us to so many different like planet planets, but Wakanda is what I want to see more of, you know, like the like the Afrofuturism, what they've done with the vibranium, like just different little sects of Wakanda. Um the different tribes, you know, like almost like a Wakandan version of Game of Thrones or the Crown, you know, it's like familial battles and like tribes yeah. versus tribe. It's just like I think that could be really interesting. And I'm actually a big supporter of 
like exploring non-canon content, you know, like I feel like mm. the MCU was such an interesting behemoth on its own now. Maybe they don't need to always work against the source material. They've established the universes, they've established characters. Why not just do a random show on Wakandans because people love Wakanda, you know? Yeah. 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 That's what I would like to see. One thing I'll add to before you go, and it's like, you can tell, like, this could be, it could be cheap. Like, it could be, like, it could be, like, a ploy to just, like, a cash grab. But, like, Disney and Marvel, they've shown us, like, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're seeing it with WandaVision. So it's like, it's going to be well done. So it's like, you know that you, you can put trust in, like, the, what, what, they, what they sign up for. So I think it'll be really good. And, you know, yeah. for, in, in a time where, like, you know, black people, we don't want to get exploited. You know, they're not, you know, you, just, you know that they have, like, the right mindset. So... It, speaking to that, I don't think it's a coincidence that they didn't announce this at the Disney investor meeting and they saved it to the very first day of uh -huh. February, Black uh -huh. History Month. It, it, it's not a coincidence of how that all worked out. And I think this, R Ryan Coogler, um, you, you said it on Kit, man, just so uh, a young force in Hollywood, three films in, uh, what he's done from Fruitville to Creed to, you know, obviously what he's doing with Black Panther. And then he's producing, like when you see his name attached to a, a Judas and the Black Messiah and, and tied to different projects, he picks his projects very carefully. Space, space um, game. <laughs> space, <today. laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, that is a good call, Ankit. And, uh, fingers crossed for that film, man, because I'm hoping for the best. But uh, Ryan Coogler is just impressive, man. As far as just kind of what I would like to see in Wakanda, I think someone brought it up in the chat, and, and Ankit even said it like a Game of Thrones. I I've read a, a good share of Wakanda uh, comics and Black Panther comics. Wakanda is one of a kind. It's it's the it's the one it's it's the best like kind of world in the MCU for me. And I think that's where I I'm a personally I'm a DC fan. I love me some Marvel, but I think DC has the better planets like Krypton and uh, you know Gotham and all that. But Wakanda is where you want to be. The technology is way beyond anything on the planet Earth. They're intelligent. Vibranium is made with everything. So let's see a, a police force of Wakanda, what they do with, with the arm trades, how Andy Serkis was... Um, Claw was able to come into the mix, and that's the big thing, too. Wakanda and the comics, they're always under attack. Everyone's trying to get Varvanium. Everyone's trying to get into the technology and try to steal the technology, and that's what I hope to see. And someone brought it up earlier in the, in the chat here, uh, Umbaku. Wilson Duke, come on, give me a spinoff series yeah. with him. Dora Milaje, are you like, can yeah, I get a spy course. show with them exploring, protecting Wakanda, maybe looking into Dr. Doom? There's a, a warlord trying to take over Wakanda, and we have o Okoye trying to, you know, lead the force and going on there. And give me, show them how they become Dora Milaje. What is it? What do you have to do to become this uh, royal, protecting the royalty? So, there's so many avenues they can go. And I think a big thing too is I think this show could plant the seeds for Kevin Feige purposely said, we're not going to recast the great late, great Chadwick Boseman in black Panther two, but that doesn't mean they can't recast him for black Panther three black Panther. It's, it's, it's passed along to, to generation to generation. It's, 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 it's important. I think Chadwick Boseman will want someone to continue that legacy. So I think this show can plant the seeds for who's going to be, the next Black Panther. If it's not Shuri, uh, if it's not Killmonger, that's been rumored for him to come back. Who's going to be the next Black Panther? Because I think if he, uh, if Chadwick didn't unfortunately pass away, what they would have done with him getting into the mix with Namor and, like I said, Doctor Doom and j him just being a king would have been fantastic. But I think Marvel and, and Ryan Coogler yeah. being in the mix will do justice to that character and do justice to this series. And I can't wait to see what they give us. So everyone in the chat, those are in the in the live stream. Some awesome comments here. Leo bringing up a, um, a Koye miniseries. That's yes, awesome. we know she can do it. Game of um, she was the one reason why I stuck around for Walking Dead for so long. Her as uh, Michonne was such a great character. So she knows how to do TV. Mm -hmm. So I would love to see her uh, kill it on a TV show. But let us know in the chat your thoughts, your comments uh, of of this show, and what you all would like to see in a Wakanda series and spinoffs and all that fun stuff. But I can't wait to see what they do with that.